What up, YouTube? It's fucking beautiful out here in uh, North Carolina, man. I'll tell you that. Fucking beautiful. Uh, yeah, so today we're not working. Um, they made the call this morning. But uh, let's see, let's see. So I woke up, woke up at 3 a.m., drank my coffee, read my book. Um, I didn't get my workout in right away, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I went back to sleep for an hour, woke up at six, and then I did get 100 burpees in. And then the boss man showed up about eight. I felt way better after doing those 100 burpees, I'll tell you that, way better. Um, as far as positive mental attitude goes and whatnot. Um, right now I'm just cruising around, trying to get to know the area a little bit. It's fucking beautiful here, man. Like. It's probably 70 degrees already. Let me see what my watch says. It says 59. There's no way it's 59. It might be actually because I'm used to the um, up north now, but it's nice down here, man. Um, the whole crew came down, you know. Uh, <laughs> oh man, just a bunch of fucking drug addicts. Half of them are drug addicts, you know. The other half that not really drug addicts, they just like the party here and there, you know, which I'm cool with, man, do your thing, you know, they can handle themselves at work, they can carry themselves, they can carry a normal conversation, you know what I'm saying, um, not really affecting their work, so, that's what it's all about, man, if you can do that, then go ahead, but if you can't, you just can't, you just can't be getting behind the wheel and doing that shit, man, you just honestly can't, um, but yeah, man, I, I appreciate all the support, guys. Appreciate all the support. We made it down here in one piece. My truck is still running. I just cleaned this baby out. I just dropped like $25 on a car wash. Um, was it necessary? No, no, it was not necessary to spend $25. Um, I could have probably realistically went with the $15 one, but I like I like doing things like that for my car, you know? Um, I take a lot of pride in this car. That's why what I did the other day, let that girl drive my car down here, was fucking retarded. Because I would have been very sad if uh, this car got totaled or got impounded or some shit. But um, yeah, so I got a lot of little things to do. I'm gonna be posting it out on Craigslist. Um, your friend, your friend in a truck type shit. Um, you know, explaining the ad, I'm thinking, I'm gonna explain in the ad that if you want just me in my truck to help you out with something, it's gonna be a $200 minimum. And then if you want me and a friend, your friend with a truck and a friend, <laughs> then it's gonna be like 400 bucks minimum. That way I can make money. It's not like, I'm not getting ripped off and they're not getting ripped off either because I have, when I was in Minneapolis, I did a couple moves in my truck and I feel like I got a little bit ripped off because they were like 80 bucks and you know, like this, my service, I don't, I think it should be a minimum of 200 no matter what because I'm supplying a pickup truck plus myself working, you know, just to pay for everything. If you're not going to come up with the $200 then like you can literally hit up a friend with a truck. Um, so that's how I feel about that. But I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to getting back to work. Um, I got a friend here that lives two hours away from me. What the fuck is that guy doing on my ass? I fucking hate that shit. But she lives here two hours away from me. I actually went to high school with her. So I think I'm going to be meeting up with her probably next weekend or I don't know, sometime when she's available. She got a kid and she's married and all that now. So we'll see how that goes. Um, she's probably pretty busy, and I'm pretty busy myself. Um, the girl game's been weak, to be honest, it's been fucking weak. Put myself on Facebook uh, dating. Um, I just don't like dating apps, man. I just can't get into it. Like, it's just like too much work for me, you know? Like, and my thinking is, like, if this girl's on this dating app, then she's definitely talking to fucking 20 other dudes, because dudes are way more thirsty than guys will ever be. I mean, than women will ever be, and they just have, you know, you know how it goes, they have selection over guys, you know? Um, because they got the fucking power. Um, I was 
was actually reading in my book about that this morning, and he was talking about how woman can make a guy feel worthless type shit, so they got that type of power over a guy, and guys are just way more thirsty than girls will ever be when it comes to that, so the point of my story is, if a girl's on a dating app, I think she's a total hoe, probably, nine times out of ten, she's probably a total hoe, maybe even 98 times, 98 times out of 100, she's a hoe, so... I just don't like that. I'd rather meet the girl in person, um, show her that. Because anytime I've ever met a girl off online, it's always been like that. She's always been just this total hoe. Like, there's no if, ands about it. It just isn't, unfortunately. Um, so, yeah, with that, let's see. Let's see. Um, it's, like I said, it's about like, it feels like it's 70 degrees right now in the land of the pine. Um, enjoying myself so far. We're staying at a little hotel. It's not bad. My first room had fucking, uh, cockroaches in it. So I called the front desk. I'm like, man, my, my shit got cockroaches in it. And he's like, I'm just like, you have any killer? And then he's like, no, no. I'm like, you have any killer? And he's like, yeah, I got some killer. And, um. So I sprayed a little bit, and he's like, you want to just switch rooms? I'm like, yeah, if you can get something downstairs. So it actually worked out a lot better because I'd rather be on ground level than fucking on the second floor. Uh, it was a lot of work yesterday because I had to move all my shit to the second floor when I first got there. And then when the cockroaches started appearing, I moved down to the first floor again. Um, but I ain't complaining because it's way better down there. I'd rather be on the ground level than up top. There's the baby, I just washed her. Hey, if anybody knows how to make this fucking bird shit come off. Let's see here. I feel like it's coming off a little bit easier. Been on here for a while, ever since I went to Ohio. But if anybody has a trick for that, whether I use a scraper or something, I'm just not trying to chip my paint. Not that my paint is super nice anyway, but be nice to get that off so it don't turn into rust. But yeah, this is her all shined up. I like my tires, man. Check out these tires. Four by four. I just stepped in a fucking pumpkin. Ugh. But yeah, man, like I said, man, it's beautiful out here. Fucking beautiful. Alright, well, if you know me and I have a day off, I'm definitely heading to Walmart, so... I gotta get a freaking... Another charger for my... For my Samsung. Um, yeah, but with that, and I'm gonna be going to Goodwill and shit. I'm a little bit tired. Um, it is what it is. Probably take a nap in a little bit. But if you haven't already, please subscribe. Hit that subscribe button right now. Subscribe. Like the video. My bad about the last video. I turned the comments off. Because um, there's an option when you post a video to like make it okay for kids. And then I guess if it's okay for kids, like, you can't comment. So I'm not going to do that no more. But anyways, comment, like, share, subscribe. Uh, if you got any questions or concerns, hit me up on... Um, Instagram, Snapchat, at Dog Lucas. Um, I also got a Facebook, uh, facebook.com slash hustling is a struggle. All right, peace.